Chief Justice, Deputy Chief Justice, your leadership, my lords, judges of the Supreme Court, I think there is one matter, Chief Justice, There is one issue that was raised by my colleague, Professor Gidu Muigai, regarding the correct team of lawyers legitimately representing the independent electoral and boundaries commission. This Honorable Court is aware that there is an application which was filed, I believe, fairly late last night and was responded to on that very issue. And I think in order to save time, uh, I would suggest that uh, perhaps the court considers that issue and gives directions in a ruling. My colleague, Professor Gidu Muigai, and my good friend, Karoli Kamau, have filed a set of pleadings on behalf of the Commission. Issa Mansu has filed a set of pleadings on behalf, as I indicated, we rely on a resolution by four of the seven commissioners. We have stated in our pleadings that we are legitimately representing the commission. Our colleagues have filed the pleadings on the basis of instructions I believe by the CEO, who we say the CEO implements instructions from the Commission. The Commission is a corporate entity. In the absence of consensus, decisions are by majority. But because all these things are actually in the pleadings filed, all I'm pleading is that this noble court considers uh, those pleadings and gives its directions or ruling so that tomorrow we are able to move on without wasting the time of this honorable court. I thank you. May it please you, Madam Chief Justice and the honorable members of the court. Uh, I would like to set the record straight IEBC filed an application on the 29th of August 2022 seeking to strike out pleadings that were pur purported to have been filed by one Issa Mansu. That application is pending. Uh, we take the view Two reasons if we need to make the argument. First of all, we have a notice of appointment of advocates that predates, predates the entry of Issa Mansu. Best civil practice would have required if a legitimate change of advocates was to be made for a notice of change of advocates to be filed. No such action was filed by what I consider a very, very competent uh, 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 firm of advocates. So are, in our view, there must have been collateral purpose. Secondly, it is not the work of the commissioners of IEBC, whether in majority or in minority, to procure any services. That flies totally in the face of the procurement law in this country. As we sit here now, the four who purport to have procured have committed a criminal offense and should be treated as such. 
So in my opinion, what I understood my lady and the court to have said earlier in your, in your ruling was that IEBC was properly represented by its advocates on this table. However, the four individual commissioners who are now cited as respondents, but who are supporting the petition, will continue to enjoy the very distinguished services of my senior learned friend, the Honorable Paul Mwita.